Welcome back to the studio. We have uh, Evgeny Tomashevsky and Peter Swidler with us. Uh, the game finished in a draw, but it was a really exciting game. And with some threats to the king, can you tell us what happened actually and what have you analyzed after the game? We spent maybe 10 minutes looking at stuff and we're still completely unsure about the, the evaluation of, uh, I think the critical position is, we'll get there, but just to... Oh, there's no board, so <laughs> yeah, okay. This is probably the, the the critical position, and the question here, uh, the one I had to, to 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 make a decision on is if I take on G6, it's a draw, and I can continue, where maybe I'm better, maybe I'm, but, but also maybe I'm getting mated. So <laughs> it was a difficult decision with 20 minutes for 20 moves, uh, for both of us, maybe even slightly less than 20 minutes, and. Uh, up to that point, I mean, uh, somewhere, I mean, this is still theory. Uh, I've had games like this, and Evgeny uh, looked at this, obviously, and uh, almost any, any decision can be questioned here from my side. I think Evgeny's play was quite logical, but my, my decisions were uh, not that obvious, and I wasn't very happy with my position. But then it became very sharp and very concrete, so it became easier to play. Evgeny, what about I, I think for me, there were two critical moments. The first one, uh, was mentioned by by Peter, um, uh, who suggested the, the play E4 immediately. It's, um, yeah, I think uh, for, for me uh, the most worrying was up to this point. Evgeny was playing very fast, and I thought if he if he just blitzes out E4 here, I, I really yes. have no yeah. idea what to do. I mean, I, in fact, I think both of the captures are incredibly unfavorable for me. So I was just planning to give uh, give this pawn on D5 uh, up immediately. I don't think White should take. I think White can play E5 or maybe I don't know King B1 now or any movement, basically. But mainly, I think uh, I was worried about E4, E5. And this is a very weird structure. <laughs> but, but I had analyzed some plans in this structure, but maybe uh, in my uh, analysis, I had uh, this position uh, with some differences, some slight differences. And uh, uh, so E4 didn't work as well as here, maybe. Yeah, and, possibly, yeah. And uh, I, I decided to, to, to play positionally. And, but maybe E4 is more logical, uh, <clears throat> considering that uh, after, after all, <laughs> I was forced to, to sacrifice it. Yeah, and uh, if, for me, when I saw King B1, at least, you know, uh, it gives me some temp. My position still looks very, very dangerous, and it's not quite clear how I'm developing. but. Uh, at least it gives me a tempo to make a very important move, bishop g7, because now I'm a lot happier about meeting e4. I can maybe even uh, immediately take on e4, and if knight takes e4, I can play c5 here, I thought. And it's very important that the bishop is not on f6 mm, anymore. And also you can play something like knight f6. And sure, uh, but uh, I thought this was maybe the most and principal. Then, and then c5. Yeah, yeah there, are, there are tons of options here for me suddenly. And after g4, queen e7. Yeah, but uh, I was going to uh, to play the structure. So uh, if uh, black recapture with pawn c, I think it's. Uh, yeah, but it's very very slow, and my pieces are sort of not <laughs> not on on the wrong or correct squares. I probably will need to go something like. Uh, but I, 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 I have prevented. Uh, uh, D6 and, and C5 on B5. Yes. So uh, then I, I can play just Bishop D3, and if my knight go to E5, I will have yeah, exactly. a long advantage. But uh, okay, you know, nothing critical. Probably I will have no attack here. But uh, maybe it's uh, even in games we will be. Yeah, I, th I, th I just thought it's it's an incredibly pleasant uh, position type of position because the Bishop on C8 is extremely stupid and uh, like 92 knight of okay, might um, be a plan I, I think the uh, only option uh, is here. Is to play f f to, to to play fast knight b6 and bishop d7. Yeah, that's what I thought. But then yeah, yeah you you land and here that's just bishop d7. And yeah, four rook and yeah, rook of c8. And, and pretend and pretend nothing is happening on the king side. But I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, but it looks true. it looks like uh, yeah. h5. Okay. Yeah, long long term long term plus for white. Very long term, uh, if I have plus one or two templates, it can be just win. For yeah, me. exactly. So yes, I thought. But, but uh, what was a mistake then? You you are keep on repeating. The position is pleasant for white, so well, where, where, probably h4 should be met somewhat different, mm -hmm. differently to what I've done today. And uh, so you this can is say my, that this is my second game in mm -hmm. one week where I face <laughs> five h4, and both times I started thinking of move five, which is a bit ridiculous, but uh, that's uh, that seems to be my approach to the opening theory these days. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah, but uh, uh, after that, it was uh, it was a game. So uh, no. Yeah, but then, uh, yeah, then we. Uh, oh, here, okay. After. 
the four queen and three. As for me, it was. Let's, uh, let's show how we got there. Uh -huh, uh, yes. So I took with this pawn, and then very logically, I think the, the, the following moves are extremely logical. Bishop d3, knight b6. I need to play knight b6 here. Rook g1, uh, because uh, h4 pawn is less important than the g4 pawn, I think. And now this pawn sacrificed, which is the whole point of what uh, Evgeny was doing. And uh, I mean, it's a. Uh, I was absolutely sure this will happen in some edition. There's a number of ways white can do this, but I was absolutely sure this move will come. Otherwise, black is uh, just fine, and uh, my previous play have no yeah, reason. Yeah, it's, it's the only it's the only justification of what yes. uh, white has been doing yeah. up to that point. Well, I was going to do this. So maybe uh, I needed to to play it faster, but uh, there are a lot of variations to calculate. Yeah. Also, I mean, I, I can do this, but, but uh, it's very dangerous after g5, you know. Oh, maybe even maybe even maybe, maybe in G5. Yeah, no? yeah sure. No, it's it's mm -hmm. just better. But if, yeah, I thought even even long term after f4 because this knight only five now because my pawn on g6 is so weak I will never be able to smoke it out so to speak and white even like yes. queen e7 even some kind of slow play even let's say you play g5 here and then you start pushing on the king side. Yes, that uh, I agree, good. but uh, I think g5, g5 is uh, almost queen. winning. Yeah, yes. because the queen on h4 gets stuck. Yeah, I agree. yeah you can't you, you can't take because of bishop g6. Yeah. So, so I took on e5 twice, and uh, Evgeny played f4, and uh, yeah, I mean, I can ignore the pawn on e3, but I thought it was extremely, extremely important for me to continue undermining uh, his structure and also create some so, files for uh, my rooks. Uh, if black, for, as for me, I, I could play g5 before, before, before knight e5, but uh, I think it's very important for me to have different options yeah, uh, of very for king side breaks. Yeah, let's, let's mention this for a second. There is an option of starting mm -hmm. with g5, h5, and doing the same here, but yeah, I think queen g7, uh, Evgeny convinced me because I was choosing between queen g7 and queen d6, and I think queen g7 is more exact because uh, the, the idea is the same. Mm -hmm. After f5, I just take twice, and it's very, very important for me to have queen g6 after queen takes f5. Mm -hmm. And the difference between queen g6 and queen g7, as Evgeny correctly explained to me after the game, is that it's incredibly important for black to have knight c4. With the queen on d6, if you imagine the same position with the queen on d6, uh, after f5, takes, takes, take. Oops. No, not yeah, not uh -huh. in f5. Yeah. Knight two is. In this position, I will not have knight c4 because white simply takes. Uh -huh. And this is a, a, an incredibly important tactical difference. And and here, this gives me a, a, a hugely important tempo to get knight c4 in. And uh, this knight attacks the e3 pawn and also aims to go to either either d6 or e5, g6, e5, g4. Lots of very useful squares. No, black seems to be at least completely yeah, fine. I think I think it's at least fine for black. So now we see uh, the difference yes. between the moves. So uh, after mm -hmm. four, uh, queen three, this was a very important moment uh, yeah. for, for me. Uh, I could start it with, uh, uh, with g5. It, it was uh, an important uh, option. Maybe it's um, more logical, but <clears throat> strangely, strangely enough, uh, I didn't uh, consider. I didn't really consider uh, that black can take everything. <laughs> Yeah. I was calculating something safer, but okay, here Black has no, has, has yeah, no time to that play would have been, That would have been a very difficult position to play for me as well, with the limited time both of us had available. But yeah, something like King H8. So no, King H8 was, uh, uh, was the move which I was afraid of. Uh, and, uh, after that, uh, Black <coughs> has a lot of various options. Yeah, it's a and I can't even take on g6. Yeah, yeah. and the, the the interesting thing about these types of positions is that I'm I'm two pawns up, but my pieces are uh, now that uh, Evgeny traded off my dark square bishop, my my light pieces don't really make much sense yet, and it's very difficult to bring them back into game into the game. So even something like I'm I'm looking at this position now, even something like h5 might make. Uh, make some yes, sense. but as for me, the only problem of my position is my knight on c3. If yeah. it goes if it goes to play, I think uh, I, I have crucial attack. But with knight on c3, it's a complicated position with chances for both sides. Yeah. Okay, you can just take or just take. Yeah, I was thinking about and G6, then but also maybe G6, knight uh, knight uh, every, You have bishop before everywhere. Yeah, after maybe, maybe it's a bit too fanciful. So it, it would have been a, a very, very difficult position to understand and play properly. And uh, but uh, I, I think uh, if I uh, if I want to to play really for a win, I think G5 is uh, probably yeah. more. 
more critical. Yeah, and after bishop g6, uh, if I take, I think I'm worse in that endgame. I'm not much worse, but I'm slightly uh, worse maybe in that endgame. Uh, how, how defend this? Uh, rook g. Ah, this uh, with square yeah, this endgame, okay. yeah. Uh, uh, but I think uh, uh, I have... Rook e7, I, I have bishop f5 check, and everything gets traded off. But after rook b7, it's kind of awkward, because the king on h8 is much weaker than the king on b1, and I still have to worry about the a7 pawn, which means that my rook on a8 cannot join the game yet. So I play something like knight c4, and Evgeny might play, I don't know, knight e2 is a move, rook e1 is a move, even b3 is not that stupid. So yeah, I but wasn't I, very happy about this. Maybe I have um, other opportunities too. I don't, think, I don't think you have anything better here, because if you play rook d1, uh, I can play queen d4, which queen, is something... Queen, queen d3. Even, no? Yeah, yourself. I mean, you know, you do, you do it, uh, obviously you do it with the queen on g6 uh, uh -huh. to, to not allow this, but I have queen d4, which is very important because it stops the rook from going anywhere because the rook on g1 is hanging. And uh, why, why is hanging? Uh, okay. I have bishop yes, yes. in the end, yeah. <laughs> yes, rook seven, seven. Queen. yes, yes, yes. Queen c uh, and uh, if, and bishop f5. if I play queen h6 first? Uh, hang on. Uh, queen d4, queen h6, uh, king g8. And it looks like you have something. At least, uh, at least rook of seven. Mm -hmm. huh, at least. Yeah, I have. Seven. I will have. Uh, yeah, probably something like. At least rook of <laughs> maybe seven. Maybe I can do this. Yeah, bishop of five, gf, and now rook of seven. Uh, so see, that's rook of six, and this game I can't use rook g seven. Okay. Yeah, I don't. Rook g six. But I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird, weird position. And queen d four. I don't know. Not, not really. Rook is six. I don't know. But anyway, uh, the end game is just quite unpleasant. But after queen f4, uh, my main concern was rook df1. And I was, at first I was very unhappy about this because I was planning to play queen e5. And then I realized that after g5, uh, king h8, and simply bishop d3, I just disliked my position quite severely because, uh, once again, it, it is two pawns. But two pawns are not that important here. And the attack just continues uh, very, very naturally for white. Yeah, probably uh, um, from from the objective point of view, black is uh, OK uh, after um, uh, the branch of continuations. But uh, in fact, uh, yeah, well, it's, it's very scary so. to yeah, play like course. this. But okay, then I, I can, no, you can take something. Correct. Maybe, R okay. but I thought maybe this is stronger. Uh, because I thought it was very, very important for me to keep the uh, the, the pawn on h6 under, uh, because uh, actually it, that's not the line I was calculating. I think starting with bishop d3 is slightly more more precise because then after king h8 you have this queen d2 move, which is very annoying, um, mm -hmm. and uh, that maybe forces me to go rook a8, and uh, now g5 wins half a tempo. Because uh, but, uh, this is very important to note. I don't know. You can you can play just h5 and uh, h5 g6. Yeah, this is the problem. And f5. Yeah. And knight e2. In this position, yeah. This is yes, what I was I, this at. was. Uh, and the knight comes to, to f4 and. Uh, this was yeah, it's problem. very difficult to assess properly, but it. it, it well, can very I, I think as uh, knight c4, knight yeah. c4, you need to play knight c4 more or less forced. Yeah, but uh, I, I wasn't. I wasn't sure. To, I'm to, not to losing trade, here uh, somehow. To trade the queens. Also, rook g5 exists here instead of knight e2. You don't, you don't have to play knight e2 straight away. I was yeah, very well, a lot of about opportunities. Of uh, no, but okay. Here, well, probably you have just rook e7. And, uh, maybe, yeah. Uh, fine. But maybe queen e3 is even stronger because now after bishop d3, I can I can play king h8. And queen d2 is not a move, so maybe I'm even winning like half a tempo compared to all these lines, which which might be very important. Uh, as for me, I just uh, um, went uh, on my. I just went in, into the calculating of the duration after knight c4. Yeah, and and this was maybe the critical move instead of the. I, I, I just uh, I just forget that you can take and draw yeah. and. Uh, and I realized that, uh, like, I, I have an immediate draw after g5, which is what I played after xg6. And I have probably more than two, but the two moves I was trying to calculate were rook e8, no, sorry, king h8 and, and knight c4. And after king h8, what scared me, maybe there are even more things, but what really scared me was that I realized that despite the queen on e3, I haven't actually defended against bishop takes f7, because in this position white has knight d1, and I have to give up a bishop not to get mated immediately. And in this position I thought I'm still getting mated, when in fact after rook e8 game kind of continues, but it's very, very scary for black. I think 
might might rook actually be six? very bad, like rook f7, rook f4, no, rook maybe, maybe, maybe even queen maybe c3. rook f6 is better, but it's no, not no much difference. No, yeah, queen c3, f4. queen f3, and... Yeah, it's dangerous. It's, it's I, dangerous. I could very, very easily just get mated here, because uh, the white attack continues, and it's only one pawn. I'm not like a ton of material up here. Uh, and because no, that, after king h8 uh, or something like that, I can just pull, just yeah, you, play bishop. This I was yeah. going to play bishop d3, and uh, I I didn't uh, waste time to play rook f1. Yeah, and uh, I think it's it's uh, fully playable for me sure. at least. And uh, the, the lines after knight c4, I want Evgeny to show them because uh, he saw some amazing stuff there. I don't know if it's correct or not, but I, I don't know. But I, uh, um, I can lay, claim no credit there. Uh, so. Uh, uh, my, my intention was that Peter will uh, play knight c4 immediately, but uh, uh, after a few minutes I realized that uh, he can take and No, see. I just had a blackout. I forgot mm -hmm. I have knight d2. Yes, happens, of course I saw it. Uh, it but uh, maybe knight, knight c4 it's, it's play for a win. Because of here uh, suddenly it's, it's not so easy to... Uh, uh, to, to make a move for me, yes. After bishop f7, you can just play here and winning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, so uh, I need to, um, I need to. I think after knight c4, you're starting with bishop d3 even before g6. Right? Yes, and I, I, I was going to uh, calculate some, some of these lines. No, let's show it step by step, <laughs> logical. Uh, but uh, it doesn't work after bishop uh, after queen h6. Uh, so um, after that, I, I realized that I, I can play, uh, or I can play this one. Very nice move. The, uh, my idea is that uh, if take, I can play this. With, uh, I think it's an unpleasant position for. Yeah, since rook g6 looks kind of very, mm -hmm. very dangerous. Okay, it's very dangerous. At least probably, I, probably I can I can play even something like something safe. Mm. It's uh, very dangerous, uh, at least from practical point of view. Uh, so, but uh, but here Black has this important move, and after Rook G7, uh, this move wins. I think <laughs> wins on the spot. Uh, no, at least much better. Maybe yeah, wins. Yeah. Yes. Uh, but after after all, uh, I was going to play Knight E2, and uh, if Queen E5, which looks. Most logical continuation. I can play this, this, the rook g7, uh, and I, um, I was going to. I, I was thinking that I'm very clever. Maybe black has a five, but it's after queen d2, it's <laughs> yeah, it's a complete mess. Complete mess. Yeah, yes. no idea. At uh, black has bishop of five, and here if I take suddenly, uh, it's a betting game for me. But I can play something like. Yeah, this is this move. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, this is this is really. And I, I guess I have a draw, right? I can take on d4 and it's a draw. Which yeah. Bishop five, queen d1, it will be a perpetual. And maybe I can. Maybe play black. On. Maybe black is better, but uh, I'm not sure about at all about uh, about yeah, this but, position. Uh, maybe uh, the same idea is to play this, but uh, it's uh, mm, the covers. The, yeah, this is more aesthetically pleasing. Of course, <laughs> to, to play knight d4 then. Yeah, at least uh, probably at least you can play this, yes. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, uh, yeah, I guess black is maybe slightly better. Should yes, be uh, maybe close to equality. What are the, so I didn't see a clear way for black to advantage. Huh? Yeah, but for me, I just as I said, I had a bit of a blackout. I only realized that uh, uh, knight c4 actually stops rook d1 uh, sort of in analysis because. Uh, Knight d2 check kind of escaped escaped my attention during the game. Mm. And I thought knight c4, rook d f1, queen e5, but now bishop takes f7 is just very, very strong. Rook f7, gh, and uh, it's uh, possibly black just loses on the spot here. No, it looks very bad. Yeah, yeah so I, I kind of uh, discounted knight c4 altogether and I switched to king h8, but after queen and king h8, I think objectively I have... Mm, I'm not sure if black losing or not, but it's very dangerous. Yeah, isn't? and uh, yeah, the, I think the evaluation of the whole line depends on what's happening after knight c4, but... Uh, the computer yeah. somehow is very optimistic, but okay, as a human. Yeah, yes, of course. Yeah, but it's hard to make uh, such moves uh, like. Uh, as far as for me, I think it's uh, important uh, to, to play g5 maybe immediately. I'm not sure about it. Uh, yeah, maybe keeping the, the uh, restricting the knight on b6 is maybe the most important uh, actual, uh, the most important <coughs> factor in the position because once this knight starts. 
uh, starts jumping, it's a, a lot harder to control. Yeah, this position is maybe easier to play with white, but if black, uh, if, if black uh, find, uh, everything, if, if finds everything, finds uh, everything, uh, he could be better. Uh, yeah, we all we all know how resourceful the machine is in yeah, that's in, true. in defending yeah. positions with extra yeah. material. But for from a human perspective, this is uh, very very difficult to play. In particular, very promising position for white uh, and uh, easier to play. But um, I think uh, anyway, this is, uh, <coughs> this is a kind of of a game when both sides can be satisfied. <laughs> it depends for, uh, of home analysis, I believe. <laughs> After uh, you I check. think uh, <laughs> uh, despite the home analysis. Yeah, no, I think uh, <laughs> okay. yeah, even, nice. <clears throat> even if it turns out I was better somewhere towards the end of the game, I definitely wasn't better out of the opening. So, mm -hmm. I, so it's the balanced. Same, the same about me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How does it feel actually to play here in Moscow? And uh, I'm Peter, you played uh, a bit more than one year ago here also for in, during the candidate so how is it to play again in the same more or less uh, plain venue and what are I mean, your the, the venue the venue is very nice it has uh, you know the, the same types of issues that uh, were, were present during the candidates it's uh, you know the location is fantastic and uh, uh, the, uh, the the actual loft we're playing in is uh, is very very nice to to look and to look at but uh, well, there are some sound issues which were also present during the candidates, but they aren't as bad as I expected them to be, to be honest. At least today they weren't. Uh, and uh, apart from that, it's, it's obviously a very, very nice location to play at. Yeah, so it's your first Grand Prix event in this uh, series, and uh, what are your expectations in general? And uh, I'm sure you were following the Grand Prix in Sharjah, and what can you say about it? Well, uh, the the structure of the Grand Prix the, the, in this cycle is such that um, we're all kind of minesweepers here. Uh, <laughs> you can't afford a single bad event. You're completely out of the running if you have a bad event. You're probably out of the running if you have a completely mediocre event even, although that is less clear. And uh, that's... Uh, that should create a more exciting atmosphere, but coupled with the fact that uh, drawfers are allowed at any point. Uh, in Sharjah in particular, I think it created this atmosphere where people were a friendship. <laughs> slightly risk averse because yeah. they felt that, uh, you know, one misstep has such a huge cost in terms of uh, qualification chances that I think people were playing uh, things a bit too close uh, to their chest. And uh, today, uh, I think this, this has been a reasonably exciting round but no decisive games yet, so we, we could have a, a similar type of event again, who knows. But uh, in terms of uh, uh, fighting games, uh, I don't think people can complain too much about today, despite the fact that most of the games probably will end in a draw. Uh, there was one uh, sort of non-game in the round, but... Uh, there are issues there, which yes, I don't know if Which Sasha, we know, yes, he, yeah, he, he, if he told Sasha us, he clarified this. Yeah, mm -hmm. he, perfectly understandable in his situation. I don't think we'll have too many of those. I hope he feels better. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I think, I think it's going to be a good event. Okay, good expectations. Again, what about you? You had already experience to play in Sharjah. What can you yes, say um, about it? Yes, for me, I played a very bad tournament in Sharjah. So uh, I just tried to play chess and... Uh, to play to play some interesting and uh, re finally risky chess and <laughs> <laughs> it was a good start uh, I think uh, I totally agree with Peter with, with his evaluation uh, of the series uh, so, but um, I also think that this tournament will be more exciting because of uh, some guys will take uh, take a risk because of uh, uh, they have chances, uh, and uh, other guys will have uh, to take a, uh, will take a risk uh, because of uh, they have no chance. <laughs> 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 have good reasons for exciting chess. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much for sure. your comments.